here at the Jesuit Retreat Center of Los Altos, I, at the Station of the Cross that represents Simon helping to carry the cross of Jesus. That Simon is this, um, this laborer um, on his way home from the fields who's pressed into service and has the greatest honor perhaps almost anyone has ever had, which is to help the Lord in the Lord's needs. Uh, the, um, it reminds me a, a little bit of um, the dilemma that St. Ignatius Loyola was faced with when he had been turned away from the Holy Land. He'd spent a, a brief um, pilgrimage visit there, wanted to stay, and um, the guardian, um, the Franciscan guardian said, you can't stay um, here. So he um, left the Holy Land really without any other plan. And along the way, as he journeyed back to Spain, he realized that he wanted to help souls. What an interesting expression. He wanted to help souls. Um, so here with Simon helping Christ, um, I want to reflect on that for ourselves. He prepared himself in the most remarkable way as a, as a, um, and you know, as a, a middle-aged, almost middle-aged man, or certainly a man in full adulthood, he sat in classes with, um, with children to learn Latin because he knew that if he was going to help souls, he probably needed to be ordained a priest. So he began from scratch, if you will, um, to study and uh, eventually advanced into and was ordained. But um, he was always, I think, probably the oldest person by far in his classes. But yet his desire to help souls had him reach out to the other students. Um, you know, once he got to the, you know, once he got into the universities and began to guide them, even though he was this old man sitting next to them, began guiding them in the ways of faith, um, helping them to experience some of the things that he had experienced through his, from his conversion. And he helped them to experience it precisely by crafting exercises, ways of praying, ways of reflecting that had um, the capacity to duplicate in them some of the most profound insights and experiences of God that he himself had undergone. He wanted to help souls. That should be a goal for all of us. And so a question should be for all of us, how am I helping to help the souls of the people around me? Certainly by good example, but are there other ways? Inviting people to participate, perhaps in the church, um, consoling them when they are in, um, in, in need and in sorrow, um, trying to lift up if we can, uh, the, the, the best way to live, a morality that's holy and pure, counseling people um, when it seems that they may in one way or another be headed in the wrong direction, and supporting them, supporting them as best we can when they make changes in their lives that are really good and important. We probably have so many ways that we can help others in helping their souls, helping them to grow closer to God than we realize. Um, and when we do that, um, we are like Simon, helping Christ to be alive in the hearts of so many wonderful people around us. So ask the Lord, as St. Ignatius did, how can I help souls? And set to work, as he did, in helping people to come to know the Lord who loves them so much. And that's the wisdom of St. Ignatius today.